Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The first web page that I built was a personal one. It no longer exists, sadly. It was tied to an old university account. And uh, I used, I think it was Pico or Nano to edit. HTML was pretty simple back in the day. Didn't take much. Uh, and it was kind of cool. I was able to put all the elements together. Uh, and it was uh, interesting because the way it looked in links was completely different than how it looked in uh, Mosaic. And then Internet Explorer came along. And then, of course, Netscape. I remember the days fondly. Uh, in many ways, I still use basic text editors to build websites, if I build websites, and I don't really build websites. I play with CSS and I move code around, uh, but it's usually done in a text editor. Uh, building full-on websites, really, at this point, you're better off using a, a CMS type of construct like WordPress rather than just coding your own. It just seems to be like yesterday's news, unless, of course, you had a budget of millions and millions of dollars. Notepad, still recommended. I am a big fan of PS Pad. It's freeware for Windows. Notepad++ is, a, is huge uh, with uh, our community. Of course, there's also Microsoft Expression Web. Now, I don't know if you've uh, used that or didn't even know that Microsoft had the software available. It was an acquisition. Uh, but uh, you could use Microsoft software to build a web page. If you didn't want to use something like uh, the, uh, uh, the software that was already on your computer, like Notepad, you'd have to download Microsoft Expression Web. Uh, it's not going to help too much when it comes to uh, managing... The WordPress stuff, you're better off using a WordPress theme editor specifically uh, or, or working within a framework for WordPress. Uh, Microsoft Web Matrix also suggested, and then a couple other suggestions that are not specific to Windows. My favorite uh, website or theme editor in the entire galaxy, and I'll have to link it in the, the video's description and in, uh, in this article, uh, because it helps you build themes uh, for standalone sites or WordPress Blogger, Dru uh, Drupal, Joomla. Um, it's called Artist Steer. I did a review on it a long time ago. Go.tagjag.com slash Artist Steer. A R T I S T E E R. Uh, it's cross platform, Windows and OS X. And you press a button, and suddenly you have a new theme that you can export and start using right away. You can even download a demo and try it. Uh, fun, configurable. Uh, manageable, easy, and, and as far as building themes are concerned, I don't think it gets any better than Artisteer. Not a paid endorsement. If you want to give me the credit for it, again, go.tagjag.com slash Artisteer. If you have any other recommendations on how to build websites in Windows 7 or beyond, feel free to leave a comment here or in the Locker Gnome post for all of you Windows-loving friends.